What's going on team? Welcome to part two of my interview with Mod Sponge. Part one came out on the channel a couple days ago and this is the second half of that conversation. Okay, I think, I think those were all the questions I had. I am open to opening mm -hmm. things up to Twitch chat and I'll kind of filter through them if you're up for that. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I'm more than, more than happy. Um, yeah. Alrighty, Twitch chat. Unleash yourself. So wild. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's a good question, actually. Right off the yep. up, um, from Whitefin in chat, are they happy? Are you guys happy with the state of the Cape passives? Uh, not 100%. <laughs> Mage one, completely fine with. Really good. Range one, kind of, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Um, it's not amazing. It was always intended to be use it outside Death Swiftness, use Dark Bow in Death Swiftness. That was my design going into it, and I think that's how people are using it. Mali yeah. one, I'm still a bit eh on. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what to do with that one, or if it needs changing, um, or whether to wait and see if there's something we can make play of it nicely. Um, a lot of people have been asking about ultimatums with it. Mm -hmm. um, it's a weird one, um, because making ultimatums straight work, I think would push them over the edge ultimatums first off it does need some love it's a terrible terrible perk right now um it's um, actually best in slottable though you can put it on two h's with precise oh six no. in the same gizmo it's a weapon gizmo you can do p6 oh ultimatums God. we'll let you know that um, so you can actually yeah. yeah you can sneak it in without a trade-off <laughs> until now was that was the ultimatums ever adding anything though um, um not really no i mean if you really <laughs> like if you really want to some people had it on telos on a telos weapon mm -hmm. just for um yep. an omni p5 but not not in an impactful way for sure yeah like i i think it it needs some more love to do better than what it's doing um i don't know what the original design was of why it couldn't work with vigor and stuff um but yeah um it's something i i want to look into Right now, like I feel like Omni Power is good. I okay. feel like ma making it making Omni Power straight work with it might be too good. Um, but it's something I need to look into properly when I have the time. Cool. Um, but overall, happy with the capes ish. I think some of them need a few a few number tweaks um, really quickly. I'm gonna go off on a tangent. Yeah, I know. Go for it. Absolutely. Small number tweaks is something we need to do more. Um, you look at other games, um, I play some MOBAs and it's like patch notes of like, we've changed this number by one or two, right? And it doesn't, as a player that doesn't feel like, oh, they've massively hit or nerfed this thing, but it can be enough to, to pull or push something up. And I think that's something we should do more, um, making smaller tweaks rather than going, right, this thing's useless, completely rework it, or this thing's terrible, up the numbers by like 20. Um, uh, we should just like do the, like the iterative small things. Um, I think that'd be be good for the game. I, I know we've we've kind of chatted about this before, but I am absolutely in agreement with that, where I think the reason people freak out so much about balancing changes, like, oh my God, the Grick owner for whatever, is because they're not used to them being frequent at all. And they know like, okay, yeah. the state of the game right now is exactly how it's going to be for the next six months or longer. And I think, mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's that's a, a really interesting perspective. And that's exactly how, how I would do it as well if I had the opportunity to. I think frequent little yeah. tweaks here and there of, oh, this is overperforming, drop it a bit. And I think mm -hmm. if you, you know, get the community used to them being fairly frequent, you get a, a slightly changing meta, but you also, you know, end up in a place where people don't necessarily lose their minds quite the yeah, you, amount you, as they you might. You lose because... the outrage, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, as an example, like, there's obviously we obviously brought out ancient summoning with archaeology right yeah um and we frequently only have one of the familiars being used um is there something we could do where we go all right our hounds not being used what happens if we up uh, up the the passive by one percent what if we do it another time and another time all right people are now overusing it drop it a bit uh, what happens if we up the the stats say what what happens like that's something we should be iterating on and doing in my opinion Awesome. That's uh yeah, absolutely. And I could not agree more as well. That's something I know I've been I've been pretty outspoken about as well, but uh no, very, very good to get your perspective on that. <laughs> um I'm going through chat, just looking for more. 
What are the plans for Magma Tempest? I'm not going to ask that because that would be like giving people an advantage for being here. And that's not cool. Mm. We don't like that. Uh, I've, um, I've said before I'm looking into it. You, yeah. Uh, the only info I'm, out is I'm a tweet from Mudsponge yesterday that he's looking into it. So we're not going <laughs> uh, to ask you did that you, question. Did you, see the, did you see the GIF that I that I put out with a tweet? I um, did. Create a chain into Magma. Oh my goodness. That was, yeah, that was intense. Um, if that is, as an example, I put in that like, subject to change because I, I was, was just insane. like, eh, what happens if I if I make it just a normal ability? Um, and then yeah, chroming six just like it, it, it chroming six, chroming four. four, yeah, chroming four. Thank you. It hits like six things, whatever. That's it, so it, 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 I, I set up an AOE and did that, and it just blasted everything. Um, that's an example like of things I'm I'm looking into it. I'm not gonna go. Yeah, I'm doing this because it needs more thought than me just going. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Slap this on it. No, absolutely. Um, okay, this is one that I feel like I know the answer to, but um, mm -hmm. are there any plans of changing the Tockle Zoe Ring so that you can keybind it to equip instead of teleport? Uh, I want to say no, because as far as my people actually used it for teleporting more than we've used it for this, if that makes sense. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I believe people frequently used it for a bank. It might not be so much now, um, but like... It, it's not for me to say I'd need a much wider conversation for me to just go and like, ruin a load of people's bank <laughs> yeah no, for sure no you wanna yeah I mean as a PVMer I'm like yeah if they can right click they're at the bank I'm in battle <laughs> on sponge I'm fighting for my life over here but uh, no that's totally fair that's totally understandable um Here's one that might be more a mod ramen question, but potentially, how do you feel about the rune cost on the fractured staff of Armadol? Um, and I'm gonna add a second part to this, possibly specifically for Iron Man. Is it a thing where it's like maybe rune shops should go up, or is it just it's powerful, so it should should have a, a substantial cost? Me, me and me and Rod Mod Ramen. Me and Rod Ramen. <laughs> oh my God, me and Mod Ramen. Um, we don't necessarily see eye to eye on the staff. Um, I think there's different ways it should be adjusted. I think it's a bit too OP right now. Um, and I raised originally that I don't think it should do auto attacks. It should um, either be free auto attacks or it should do ability damage. Hmm. Um, people, people are now going to go, ah, staff crash, but like I have nothing to do with the staff. Right? Yeah, it is not um, his. But... Um... We have super important to note. Personal, it's, it's, it's your it's, personal it's opinion on it. It's change. not. It's not your. Yep. It's not your um, item. Yeah. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, Don't yeah, want people it, to freak out. It is. It is an absolutely insane item. It's very strong. But part part of that is like it is. Uh, I mean, it's an elder artifact, right? It should be strong. Um, yeah, I I don't know how I truly feel about it because I I think yes, it should be strong. In other ways, I think it's too good. Um, and it should be adjusted in ways and um, the ring cost being part of that because you know fly melting through like a, a billion runes isn't necessarily good that's totally um, fair yeah it's a very hard one i find the staff um i i think it could use some adjustments if not anything for the for the future like it right now at any time we release anything crit based um the staff's gonna gain right yeah for sure <laughs> magma tempest is a, is magma example, tempest right? is a good example it, it of hits, that it hits eight times right it's uh it's kind of nutty with the staff um and yeah i, I just I, th I think i think we should further look into it into the future i'm not saying we will uh, yeah before people start that no yeah. it's, it, totally it, it, it's a hard one it's a hard yeah one. absolutely it's a it's a complicated one um Technical question that you may, I, I'm, I'm sure you're aware of how it works, but you may not have an answer to. Um, yep. Is it intentional that Precise and Equilibrium and Dragon Battle Axe and Berserker Auras don't affect bleeds? Because um, it sort of pertains to the new uh, the new sword that you know provides a bunch of bleed damage, mm -hmm. and a lot of these high tier mm -hmm. perks don't actually work with it. Um, I can't say it's intentional in the original design of bleeds because I wasn't there. Um, I know exactly why it doesn't work from a functional level it's not like there is something on the bleed that says don't work with buffs um it is very much just that where bleeds get set up in the combat system it then skips another part of the combat system oh, okay. um, that's why buffs don't apply to it Interesting. um that being said there is now 
now it's kind of the core identity of bleeds and dots, right? That they, these things don't work together. Um, and it means we can do more with it in the future, I feel like. You have things like uh, the Spear of Annihilation. Yeah. I don't think we'd be able to do things like that if bleeds also scaled with everything, right? Yeah, that would so have that, to be that rebalanced essentially a fifty percent damage increase on ability. Yeah, um, and then and it it means we in the future could release a bleed version of Berserk that goes cool. All your bleeds and dots deal triple damage or something, right? Yeah, that I is know, something for sure. we could do if we wanted to. Um, but it, I don't know if when it was really designed, it was made to not work with anything. Um, but now we've kind of accepted that that is how they work. Is what I'd want to say to that. Okay, yeah, good, good answer for sure. Um, okay, another one from chat. Are you happy with the scripture of Bic and where it fits in? Or are there changes kind of planned or scheduled for it? Actually, a, a second part Bic. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of because, yeah, that's a, that's a dangerous answer, but... Bic. Ugh. Bic's a hard one. Some people aren't happy with it in Jagex. I know that's a that's a crisis question, I'm, but you were involved with that a little bit too. Yeah, I was. Yeah. I, I did I did majority of the rewards for for Croesus. Yeah, um, yeah. There's some people that aren't happy with it, and when <laughs> after the release, I went, "This thing's pretty OP." I didn't realize how OP this was going to be. Um, if I'd known, I probably would have pushed back on that. Um, I'm kind of now like it's it was a skilling item at Gave Clue Scrolls. Basically, it's a clue scroll item that yeah. gives some XP right now. Um, I'm fine with it. it. It's giving clue scrollers some kind of input cost, which I think I'm fine with. Okay. Um, obviously, pages are very expensive right now, which puts into that. Clue scrolling is very profitable. Um, but it's, it's just a way for players like playing the game, right? Yeah, I know, uh, for sure. Like, you, you and me, when we get a PVM and buff, that I know, increases our kill times by twenty percent or whatever. Yeah, that's a that can be a big GP increase. Um, I kind of, I personally kind of see this like that for clue scrollers. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm think I'm fine with it. Um, there's some people that don't necessarily agree with me, uh, but you know, opinions. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> people are making fun of me for snapping pictures. I'm taking screenshots of your guys's questions. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying my best here. All right. Okay. Here's one. How do you feel about the 200 kill little Zuck upgrade? Um, for the uh, for the way? cosmetic. Do, like, do you feel like that's like okay for me personally? Compared to the Carapac or the Arch Glacier ones, this one will take about twice as long as the others. Yep. Um, um, is that like sort of totally okay for the type of content it is, or would you say it's a little overtuned potentially? So fun fun fact about that, it was originally 500. Oh my um, god! Until we yeah, until we scaled it down. Uh, <laughs> oh no! I, I'm gonna gonna shout mod Ryan and mod Ramen trying Thanks, to get me 500 was fine. What? It was not. Kyle and Ryan, um, it's I, cage fight at Runefest. Put me in the yep. cage. <laughs> um, but I am fine. 200, absolutely <laughs> fine. Um, yeah, absolutely fine. 200. Um, it's it's like I was saying earlier. It's not a PVM upgrade. It's not something you need. It's a cosmetic. If you want to, exactly. If you want to, if you enjoy the content and you want to do it loads, you can unlock the skin, right? And it's something to say. I have done this. I've done this many things. If you if you did a hundred, it wouldn't. I don't think it'd feel the same because okay. everyone's going to do that for final boss. Uh, was it final boss? Thank you. Um, so yeah, it was like oh. yeah, hundred. 100 is kind of a weird one. Oh, Any single person has done Final Boss will have it, right? Yeah. Okay. Exactly. I think that's like, that's actually totally fair. And I think your answer has actually almost changed my perspective of like, you're totally right. That's exactly the type of thing that should be stupidly rare or stupidly hard to get mm -hmm. because it is a cosmetic. It's kind of like the AOD chest situation. So, uh, exactly. Yeah. Totally, totally fair. Um, and that makes a lot of sense. Um, anything about Death Cost? No, that's not going to be uh, that stuff. I think most of the J mods. Who death work on combat suck. feel like death costs That's suck. What I'll say on yeah, that. death costs suck. It's more a, yeah. a, a timing thing and a, a future update thing that I think everybody knows something's gonna happen to death costs at some point. It's just kind of a matter of mm. of when and not a matter of yeah. I think <laughs> it would yeah. be imagine you were like I think death costs are perfect. I actually I think they should go up, but no, I think most people and, and people who play the game a lot and are passionate about the game 
um generally have a pretty similar stance on death costs I think. yeah exactly yeah, it's pretty yeah. uh it's pretty easy to see the impact that that has um oh here's a fun one um the zuck chest has a scroll bar yeah mine doesn't because it's empty oops but uh is that something that you could potentially see being retroactively added to elite dungeons uh i'd have to ask uh we shouldn't <laughs> we shouldn't just go throwing them on everything because it takes up a lot of storage um on each player account right so for every single slot that's another item we have to store in your account um so this one had a scroll bar and that's part of the reason for the alchemist chest is because i had so many different items i wanted to give out oh but um, you just I can't go, yeah yeah, and I couldn't go, all right, this has 60 different drops you can get because that is just like so much storage just going to waste for no reason. Um, so it's like, yeah, cool. Fr throw him in a key and then become something else. Um, uh and so I had to trim the fat a lot on the drop drop table as well, right? So there was like, I had obby shields, obby capes and stuff that the, the mobs could give. Um, and in the end, I was like, these, these aren't going to do anything. Like people are going to alchem or disassemble them. Um, just, just trim them because... Uh, it, it gets annoying when your chest gets full. Currently in, in, in live now, your your chest will be able to get full if you get every single drop and... And a stone. It'll be full uh, plus one, I think. Yeah. I, th I think there's like, there's like 42 slots or something. It's like, yeah, every single drop, stone, and both types of tradable and untradable anima. Mm -hmm. And then your stuff will start going on the floor if you get anything <laughs> wacky. Jonky, nice. That's, uh... Honestly, I was just surprised um, to see the scroll bar, but very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so it, it is something we could add i would need a i don't know someone more technical minded on whether we should or shouldn't do that oh that's totally fair i know a lot of people like you know stacking up and hoarding that that massive elite dungeon chest yeah, i'm the exact same i'm the opposite because i always need to take the money and do supplies and <laughs> stuff with it but uh, death costs. at some point yeah my death costs are uh are a little high oh that's that's speaking of death costs so mm. certain items have a randomly attributed value to them. Good example. Yeah. Of that would be the Dark Shard yeah. of Lang has a 500k yeah. reclaim cost. Um, whereas the Dark Silver, mm. sorry, Dark Sliver, I'm dyslexic, of Lang does not have one, and nor does the uh, the new weapon that is based around the Grand Exchange value right now. Yeah. Um, is that sort of just something where it's like, is that like an oversight thing or an intentionality thing or is it something that just kind of doesn't really matter because it's going to be protected anyway kind of situation um, so the sword i think that comes from its start in ge price I think. yes yeah it is it's too bad um i'm not sure where the leng swords come from uh, to be totally honest and i'm actually checking it now one is ge um, and the other isn't one's 500k flat and the other is a ge price <laughs> why yeah i'm looking at it right now yeah the main hand is 500k set um and then yeah. the offhand is based on 325 million coins offhand is 300 <laughs> the offhand's like yeah, four that's... times more <laughs> i'm 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 gonna look into that tonight so actually like there there is some kind of parameter that it should be on those weapons to make them consistent that just isn't um i off top my head i can tell you what but something <laughs> is like yeah um, and it's one of those things that I imagine when making it like it wasn't really like reclaim cost wasn't something I thought of with the sword. I was like, yep, yeah, bang, it's going to be two bill. Like this thing is going to be max cash. So I might as well just throw out a nice number. Oh, for sure. Um, obviously, you have like Star Farm deal came out at, like 100k or whatever, I think. Um, so that had like the really low cost. Yes, um, it did. Yeah, the, the whole the whole the whole system's kind of wonky. I mean, kind of wonky, yeah. Because um, obviously you have the things that dies reducing prices, and um, I think it just needs someone to go and have a proper look and just make everything consistent. Because um, it's kind of yeah. No, for kinda sure. Kind of confusing. Confusing. No, for sure. And I'm sure I'm guaranteed if I were to die it, it would attribute a, a random value as well. Because most items do that. Like even the dark silver of Lang, if you die it, then it gets set mm. to the same as the main hand. But that's always Is there always any been a thing too. Dies that don't do that, do you know? Of? Um, I think it might be the new ones. To my knowledge, mm. though the last two, so what were the last two added? Ice and Third Age maybe don't mm. work, and then all the others do, I think, but I I could be wrong on that. I uh I'm a Barrows die locked kind of PVMer. <laughs> <laughs> kind of in uh in that kind of uh wealth class. 
Mm -hmm. um, apparently, Barrow's staff of Armadale still goes to GE, but some of them don't. Hmm. Either way, the whole oh, system is that's... just weird and inconsistent, and you know, mm, very that's interesting. <laughs> definitely no secret. Um, mm. Okay, super super technical question now. Probably like the most yeah, contentious one so far. What's your favorite boss? Ooh, <laughs> ooh. There's a right answer, and there's, there's several wrong answers. Um, oh, I was kidding about that being a tough question. I was gonna I was gonna throw you a freebie because uh, you've been uh, you've is, been working. That is something I need to deliberate on. <laughs> I contentious answer i really enjoy the ed2 bosses i really enjoy them um they're, in, they're at that right right middle ground of kind of brain afk and having to do stuff uh, i've done probably my most done boss is probably glacor okay um but i don't know if i can say i enjoy it i don't know <laughs> i'm doing it it's just print it, i'm doing it it's printing me money so I enjoy it for that, but I don't know if I actually enjoy it. Um, but like Varaklyph in particular, yeah. If I could just do Varaklyph over and over again all day, I'd just do that. Varaklyph's a fun boss. I actually, that's, Varaklyph's my favorite ED2 boss for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I kind of wish we had Varaklyph pet and Astalan pet. Varaklyph pet is, is that not kind of KBD pet? No, nah, it's slightly different. Oh, the heads are different colors or something. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Or attitude. No, that's fair. I think, yeah, Varicleth is my favorite boss in ED2 by a long shot. I definitely think the set of mechanics are fun and they're enjoyable to deal with and all that. Astalard, though. I, that's what I, uh, gonna have to... You don't like, you don't like getting one bang by Astalard for no reason? Yeah, I don't like when the, uh, the star that blows you up spawns before the star that, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you need and then you just have to teleport out. Not my favorite, yeah. uh, mechanic, but, uh, no, that's really fair. Yeah. I also think ED2 is a beautiful Not area. It is. Astalan, it's not necessarily um, the most mechanically fun, but uh, the visual identity of everything in there is very nice. Uh, I um, I remember, so I did a promo with Jagex. This is like three years ago. Nobody remembers this, but I was on the front page of Twitch playing RuneScape for like 5,000 people that had never seen RuneScape before. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were like, okay, you got two hours on the front page. Where do you want to go? You can pick anywhere in game. And the place I went was ED2. <laughs> Because nice. even though my, the bosses are potentially, some of them, a little wonky, mm -hmm. you know, a lore phase here, a, uh, yeah. you know, slightly poorly optimized part there. Um, it's a beautiful <laughs> looking area. I actually, speaking of poorly optimized, this is totally unrelated, but uh, yep. I have a friend who, um, they've got like a really, really, really solid uh, gaming laptop and everything else. And yep. whenever they go to ED2, their entire system turns into a space heater. Their GPU heats up to a hundred degrees Celsius. <laughs> Um, this, so this, this, this is actually <laughs> something we're looking at with Zug. Um, it is something we're aware of. We just so there was there was three of us trying to figure out. We just didn't know what is causing it. Um, we actually need to get back on that. Um, we not sh we we added some of the lava stuff to the Zuckerina dripping down, and we noticed that things started getting uh, a, bit, started lagging. a bit a bit a bit hot. Yeah um it wasn't that in the end so we do need to kind of re go over that and find out where it was we were just so busy back with to some ones. no yeah, that's... yeah. um it, yeah it, it's a very funny thing um i don't know what i don't know why it is or why it's happening um and it's the weird thing i find is i've got i've got a terrible laptop that i use and it, it runs it fine and I, I so i'm just like i have no idea what it is that something there is hating interesting yeah there's, there's yeah. something there but uh I was also going to say, for all the Elder God Wars releases, I know like before the Arch Glacier, after the reveal stream, I made a bunch of jokes about how I'm going to break my <laughs> GPU by getting a Frost Cannon, but uh, they all seem to be very well optimized, actually. I was quite impressed because I have uh, I have a one PC streaming setup. I, I should really get a two PC streaming setup so that, you know, one yeah. computer does all the encoding and the other one just gets to play the game. But uh, on a one PC setup, like I have two separate recorders. I've got a stream. I've got three monitors, including a 4K display in the middle. Like I... I really, uh, yeah, my computer is basically on life support all the time, but uh, the uh, <laughs> entirety of Elder God Wars ran super, super well, and I was very impressed by that mm. because they it looks very state-of-the-art. It looks very nice. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I was impressed by that. Yeah, just, just seeing the, the efforts of the art and the, I guess the engine team as well um, to, to make that happen. Um, yeah, I, th I think all three fronts are, are very nice to look at. Um, I'm very happy of how, how they've come out. Um, 
just playing through this in white box like even a, a couple of months before before release like up to that late um so to see it see it go from that to this is is kind of yeah it's very impressive what 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 happened in such a quick time no absolutely i think the the game is definitely yeah taken a bunch of steps from a technical aspect and i remember when um the the mods i believe it was mod orion did a stream mm -hmm. possibly with mod sova and maybe iago possibly i could be wrong about one of those um when they were talking about the creation of ED2 in particular and how that built a bunch of infrastructure they could use to, you know, make other future bosses a lot more quickly. And uh, mm -hmm. it's really cool to see that, that that clearly worked in terms of, you know, four bossing releases in a, in a span of four months is like, that is an unprecedented rate of content. And I think that's something that uh, is extremely exciting for, you know, people who've been playing RuneScape 3 for a long time. Because, you know, there was a there was a two year span of just shy of two years that a single boss release. And to go from that it's to this, crazy. it's been an absolute yeah. treat. It has been just fantastic. It's almost like someone just kind of came along and went, oh, whoa, bosses are good? Wait, what? we have yeah, bosses? Okay, we can make keep, bosses? Yeah, keep doing that. Um, I, th I think, think what you said as well, like releasing all these things so quickly together, um, it's kind of hilarious to look back and see kind of the outrage when we revealed it was, it was batched, not batched. Um, yeah, because everyone was like, "Ah, oh, but God Wars dungeons—they all come out at once." Um, and we, there is no way we'd deliver what we'd be able to deliver what we've delivered if we'd done that. Um, it'd just be I don't know, four more vindictors, right? No, absolutely. And I was, I was actually initially not concerned about Elder God Wars, but I was, I was hoping to get one good boss out of Elder God Wars. I thought the first four, I would kind of you know, roll or, or, or whatever else or, or stomp through that too much difficulty. But I figured, um, you know, the fifth boss is going to be the big one. And obviously no comments on if there's a fifth boss or whatnot, but these four bosses have all been, well, okay, Crisis wasn't really for me, but the the, the three PVM ones um, mm -hmm. were real boss fights. They were actual boss fights and they absolutely, they, <laughs> they took my expectations and, and really blew them out of the water um, in terms of just the, the hard mode opportunities and the normal modes. And it's, uh, I think I think it's all just fantastic content for for the game that a lot of people are gonna really enjoy. I think like when I'm on stream or I'm PMing and doing all my crazy stuff, I'm doing the hard modes and I'm doing speeds and all that stuff. But like in my own personal time, like I do a good amount of normal mode Arch Glacier, like in a duo yeah. and just chilling out and hang out and doing that. And I think it's really um, it's a dungeon that and it kind of goes back to balancing. But I think it, it satiates the needs of a lot of different players and a lot of different kind of levels in their in their PVM progression. I think that's uh, that's something that I think deserves a ton of uh, credit to the teams that were in charge of balancing it, because it's easy to like nitpick little little things here and there from a balancing standpoint. But overall, I think it was pretty well knocked out of the park. Yeah, mm. I, com I completely agree with you. Um, well, I think we're all together we're all very happy of how things have gone as a whole um obviously we've had some issues along the way um that's unfortunately unavoidable yeah bug um, here 30 but, million yeah. water battle staves there it happens. <laughs> um that's completely unrelated to us but yeah, <laughs> yeah I, know, I know i won't i won't put that one on you guys <laughs> i really kind of wish i'd added like a you know the alchemist chest i should have added a note like iou 30 million water battle stars or something in there that, oh, that should that'd be have been so funny. The, the troll drop was yeah too funny, um, and I know you tweeted I, out about. I like referencing mm -hmm. stuff. I like. Sorry, I'll interrupt you. No, I like go for referencing it. things we've done before in game, um, even if it's small things like that. A little, little, screw little Easter ups. eggs. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's, we we should laugh about it more. Like it shouldn't be. Oh no, we can't talk about that. Uh, we very much should laugh about it. So uh, confirmed, we're going to get some two week vacation text in uh, Evil Dungeon <laughs> Six. Um, no, I. I that's a really funny perspective, but I feel the same way. Like, if something bad happens with me or my stream, I figure the only positive that can really come out of it is if people, you know, enjoy it or have a laugh about it after the fact. And yeah, it's, yeah. I think it it's always it good, to, good to be a good sport about it because it's like, yeah. objectively, how in the world did that happen? But now that it's happened, yeah. you know, it's uh, it's cool to see that being uh, being embraced. Exactly. It's like the, the, the stack of deaths at uh, the Halloween event. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I saw the list of deaths and I was like, I can't help but make a meme about it. Like, you just have to laugh about it. No, that's um, quality. Kind of just, 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 just take it on the chin. Um, but yeah, no. I, I think overall, all this stuff's kind of come out well. No, absolutely. And uh, it's also really good to see that, you know, the people that, you know, put all the time and, and worked into it are, are happy with the results. Because, you know, that's really important too. It's like, were the, were the goals met? Were the expectations met? Were, was it, you know, what you'd hoped it would be? And was it received well? And I think 
for the most part, Elder God Wars has been super well received, I think. I don't know. I obviously don't have any metrics for that or any analytics for that, but yeah. uh, it seems like it's been I don't know. a really it, good it reputation. It absolutely has been well received. Like, yeah, it's it surpassed, I think, even our expectations. So, um, yeah, we're all very happy with it. Obviously, there, there there's some things we still want to improve, um, and we will improve. Um, yeah. Overall, I think it's everything's gone, gone super well. Awesome. That's... Uh absolutely brilliant i am uh i'm gonna pass the uh, pass the talking stick to you and ask you if there was anything oh, else that you wanted to you know touch on and you you can absolutely uh, say no to that or uh, or ask me as well or ask my twitch chat they're all uh you know um all available let, but if not that's totally okay let's ask twitch chat what they want to talk about and in the meantime um what's what's your favorite favorite boss favorite favorite drop from from the front as a total total from the fronts, okay. Um, so specifically, Elder God Wars, yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, good question. I was about, I was about to start rattling off about how much I love Solak, but uh, I don't <laughs> know if that completely counts. Um, let me think. So far, I'm I'm enjoying the Zuck waves. Um, I liked Arch Glacier. I think my my main issue with Arch Glacier really was just it didn't feel very rewarding to push. And for yep. me, you know, the pushing was the, the thing that enticed me the most. I think all it would really take there is like, if there were ever changes made to the drop rates or tweaked a little bit for for going up to higher in rage brackets, then that would that would probably make Arch Glacier my favorite front. I think Arch Glacier was a fantastic boss. The thing I like about it most is just um, how much it helps less experienced PVMers learn PVM and the the coach ability there. As someone who you know has put the last ten years of my life largely into helping people improve at RuneScape, that that to me made it like. That's the most, it's yeah. the most special boss to me. But if you were like, mm. all right, let's go kill a boss in uh, in Elder God Wars. I think right now Zuck would be one, could be recency bias. Karapak would be two. Arch Glacier would be three because it got a little bit repetitive. And then Creases would be four. Although I did enjoy Creases. It just, you know, it wasn't really, you know, made exactly it, for it, my it, player it's, type. And... It's, it's different content, right? Creases. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's, it's... Like, I'm very much like you. I did a bunch on release, and now I've kind of just not gone back. I, I will very much, I'm sure I will go back. Um, I know the drops are worth absolutely bank right now. Mm -hmm, um, they are. It, it's just not not what I do in my downtime, really. <laughs> That's totally fair. Um, um, yeah, but what's your, what's, your, what's your favorite item from Elder God Wars? Okay, I, I feel like... You say an mm. item that's not mine, I'm disconnected. <laughs> All right, well, this sword, uh, trash, little Zuck trash, everything from, it. yeah. Um, well, you worked on Creases too. The the Book of Full, I just thought shouldn't have even been in the game. Um, just a terrible <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> Crit Bloom was a mistake. Um, Arch Glacier was Mod Orion, right? Yep. The core is so cool. I just love the look of it. <laughs> it's just a, a really, really beautiful item. Like sometimes what I do is I actually just like open up my log and stare at it. Um, no, my favorite, <laughs> my, 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 my favorite item is absolutely the, uh, it's gotta be the crit stick just because it has completely changed the game. Like mm -hmm. people were doing probably 300 K DPM at very, very most. And people are now doing 500 K DPM with the crit stick. Mm -hmm. It's just been that significant of a, of an increase. So as someone that likes playing around with stuff, definitely the crit stick in terms of appearance. I actually, mm -hmm. I really like the Lang swords. I think they look really sick. Um, yep. This new sword, which I haven't figured out what I'm going to call it yet, we'll call it the Switchblade <laughs> for now, um, I uh, or the Bay Knight 2H sword. Sorry, um, I, I really like the look of a lot of these items, but I haven't fully, you know, played around with them enough to to say if I uh, if I enjoy them or not. Um, I had a question for you about the Book of Full. Yes. Um, so, okay, first off, the, I, I'm sure you're aware of the the bug that happened on release. I'll, I'll say what it was just for chat, but. I believe, oh, yeah, 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 and correct absolutely. me if I'm wrong. So what it's yep. supposed to do is you do 20% more damage and you take, sorry, you, do, yeah, 20% more damage and you take 10% yep. more damage. Yep. Um, yep, yep. On release, what it unfortunately did is it made you take only 10% of the damage that you would have before. So whenever the book yep. went off, you became an unkillable god of PVM. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think that's already been fixed, right? I'm guessing, or does it still work now? It has been fixed. Yeah, it has I figured that's probably a hot fix. I was gonna say. Um, can I just vaguely ask what happened with that, or is that? I mean, you don't even have to ask vaguely, right? I think we should have kept it. It was a very good one. Um, 
<laughs> you could just remove the damage buff from it at that point, all right? And it's a pig book. Item. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so what that was, um, I don't for anyone that doesn't have any kind of programming thing, you have things called constants. And when you set a constant, um, it's basically like a, a text text name for a number. So I had a constant that was uh, Zuck, Zuck damage reduction, say, and I set it to 10 because, you know, you're yeah. taking 10% increased damage. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I forgot to do was when I scaled up the number was add 100 to it. So you go and take 110% damage. <laughs> um, so therefore you were scaling down the number instead of scaling it up. Um, and yeah, that, that, was, that was a fun one. Um, very, very, very easy to to happen. Um, should should have been caught. But, you know, oh, these things happen. I think you can you can laugh about it, can't you? No, absolutely. And uh, that's not one that like broke the game or anything. I just thought it was really interesting. Um, <laughs> wanted to get your your thoughts on that. I'm still interested to test out the book. I don't think it'll be as good as a Grim, but I think it'll probably be a hundred times cheaper. So uh, you know that makes it already yeah, a, a the, fairly the, enticing. The book's option. an interesting one because it was designed fairly early in full. I kind of wish I'd changed the design later on, um, because obviously it's very close to Jasper, right? Um, they they essentially kind of do the same thing when you kind of take it down to basics. Like, they yeah. just increase your damage, right? Except I don't it's... think the Jasper works on target switching, <laughs> so I think the uh, the full book is more useful. I think Jasper will store up on target switching and then release it on your current target. Oh, um, I could be wrong, but I think if you have like three mobs, you kill two of them. <laughs> I could be wrong Jasper too. One of them, and you target another one, it will. It, it will does work if you switch targets. Well. Okay, you are correct, oh. which makes sense. Um, <laughs> so when you take them down to basics, um, they just do the same thing. Uh, if I do a thousand damage in the Jasper period, you get two hundred. I'm just getting that extra damage on top, right? And it's the exact same. Exactly before. the same. Um, so I wish I changed it. Um, I, obviously, we added in the extra. The full book performs better because obviously you take more damage. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I wish I had done something like made it a mini Grim where it's just crit or something. Uh, my um, uh, my solo only Iron Man that can't do Solak until I get a Grim would, uh, you know, would appreciate <laughs> that. No, that's totally... Uh... The, the, the problem with that is the identity of God books is they have a 6.6% chance of activating or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't necessarily work very well with crit because um it, you, you'd have to proc it to get the crits then you'd have to give them a lot of crit to make up for the that it has to proc um and you'd have these absolutely wild moments say like oh when it procs you get 50 percent crit for 10 seconds your stuff would then absolutely be going up. yeah it'd be going nuts right i would not want to um, be in charge balancing that that's for sure yeah ex exactly right um i i, I do and don't wish i'd change that the, the, the book's an interesting one. Um, what I do like is that we've made Pocket Slot a lot more accessible now. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm very happy about that too. There are so many good options and you've seen Scrimshaw start to crash and that's like a good thing to exactly. do just for cost of PVM, which I'm always a fan of uh, of reducing. Um, yeah, um, sorry, just to quickly say. No, of course. Uh, like that, 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 that 10 percent damage thing i'm always more than happy to talk about the hilarious bugs that i cause or have been involved with um because they're, they're just so funny i love them um obviously some are worse than others but yeah i i absolutely enjoy them awesome no it's always always good to see and i think most people at this point understand like people make fun about fun of fun of qa and all that and and i'm someone mm -hmm. that like they have a terribly difficult job and they don't have a ton of time to do it either and oh, i'm sure yeah, for yeah, every absolutely. every game breaking bug that gets through and people make jokes about it's also they're stopping 20 or 30 or 50 or 100 mm -hmm. of them and uh yeah that's that's something too where i i know the qa team works super super hard and i just want to be very clear when when we're joking about bugs getting through that's not like haha qa team bad it's like haha this is realistic based on the amount of time that yeah, you know they have to exactly. do a very difficult job just want to kind of uh, put that <laughs> put that out there yeah obviously there's the number of bugs you guys don't see as well right um e even some that go live um there's one i'm thinking of that went live for oh god let me just check the release date of this piece of content uh so I was in QA before I became a dev. Oh, um, okay. Uh, I initially started when I was helping out on Dino Island, um, then moved on to archaeology. Um, and at one point, I was the only QA on archaeology. 
uh, for a the long time. Only QA on archaeology, like the yeah, entirety for, of archaeology. For a while, yeah, yeah. Modi oh. Yago, uh was lead QA on archaeology. That's why it was absolutely flawless. <laughs> um, um, and for a while, he got pulled off into something else. So I was kind of there, the only one uh, panicking um, as a, a newbie QA. Oh, I'm sure that would have been. That was terrifying, insane. I'll be honest. Um, but yeah, this piece of content came out in... Uh, so there was a bug live for six years that you guys didn't realize, and it was, uh, it was a pretty impressive one. Um, okay. I'll talk about it. I'll talk about it. Oh, well. Um, so you might have realized, or might have realized under the radar, uh, um, it's fixed now, so don't go buying things or expecting it to change the stock market. But at Araxor, if you wore a luck modifying ring you had twice the chance of getting a drop what? twice the chance yep um, wait for how many years for how many years seven years what six six seven years yep um oh. one, so whilst i was in qa I, I wanted to become a dev right so i was just kind of looking through bosses looking through code and i was like ah that don't look right um and so you may or not may not know but runescape doesn't deal with decimals um so what it was doing was um, what we normally do when when you involve luck in something, you take the number you're going to roll. Um, yeah. Say Raxor is roll a hundred. Yeah. You apply luck modifier to that, so it'll be like okay, roll a ninety nine instead. Yeah. Um, but this was doing it the other way around. It was rolling the hundred sided dice, say. Yeah. And it was going cool. You've <laughs> rolled a one. Now scale that down. Um, so RuneScript was going all right. We scaled it down by ten percent. That's now rounded down to a zero, which is the item. Um, so you can roll a zero or a one to get the item and not just a zero. And so oh you, get double, you get a double chance of, of any insane. item if, uh, if you're a luck ring. That is completely um, insane. But yeah, that got fixed sometime last year. I last year. Oh, no. I'm trying to think back yeah. of challenges I did. Like challenges where I got stuck <laughs> at racks and cash didn't. And he was using like luck potions and stuff. That's so funny. This is he why you always wear chance. a luck ring. I don't right, use it I anywhere. I gotta bring it. it. <laughs> I gotta bring it. Oh no! I'm I'm actually gonna start bringing the HSR out for these because <laughs> that's so funny. That's insane. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's actually oh, that's... hilarious. That's. I mean, it's not uh... unbelievable, but it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're in development as well. There's, I'm, I'm going to start sharing them more um, after releases, but there's so many funny bugs we find. Um, so I was part of QA for the EOF. Yeah. Um, oh my God, that was that was a painful one. Um, <laughs> sorry, Jagger's right. <laughs> right, call me out. Um, the EOF, yeah. Um, and we found out that, you know, Granite Mall uh, special attack can yeah. ignore GCD, right? Yep. That was tied with a granite maul not the special attack oh so you'd put on it you put on an eof wield a granite maul and you could double special attack any special attack in the game through eof ah so you, you could run up and like single cycle like eight times dragon claws if you got like i don't know relentless or whatever um it was a very 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 fun bug to play around with i've got a gift somewhere where i just set my adrenaline to max and i'm like spamming an, an sg uh, Sarah God Sword spec like ten times a cycle because um, you're just able to. Uh, okay. <laughs> so Granite, Granite Mall was a very fun item to play around with that. Wow. Um, and it, there's a lot of bugs like that that are very fun that get picked up. The SGB thing's been fixed, right? SGB's been fixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's another one that I I know you had a hand in fixing, but let me pull it up actually because I, I I've got source material. Um, there is a bug with EOFs where and it was in the game for like a number of months as well. Okay, mm -hmm. this person recorded it on a toaster. But um, they are just continually Saren Godbo specking every second yep. ability for reaction kills. Mm -hmm. It's just SDB spec after SDB spec. And that sounds, you know, fairly similar in terms of yeah. how it works. This, More was, this, was, this was a headache. Um, and actually, it was very different. So this was uh, <laughs> when when you stalled it and released the spec, yeah. there was nothing checking that you were doing it with a valid item, essentially. Um, and then that, that became a variant where you changed your amulet and stuff. And so it was just adding in all these extra security checks to check, like, is everything valid um, after you've stalled something? Um, but yeah, it, it was that was a very weird one. Um, and that caused me and Raman a lot of headaches to try and, try and figure that out. 
I can't even imagine what that would have been like. But, uh, <laughs> glad to see that one fixed because, uh, yeah, I know a lot of people were abusing it. At, like, even at Arch Glacier, mm. they were just, like, cruising to very high and rage kills Bam, very quickly yeah. where they were just SGBing every second ability. So uh, mm -hmm. that's always good uh, good to see. Um, <laughs> that's really funny. Well, anytime you've got funny bugs you wanna you wanna talk about, I am always yeah, I'm yeah. always game. Uh, <laughs> that's the, the Rax one actually still blows. I'm gonna be thinking about that like next week. <laughs> I'm gonna be thinking about that. I remember like on my yeah, hardcore, yeah. which had like a terrible log. Um, mm -hmm. I had I had enough uh, Reaper points to make one thing. And I was like, do I want a Reaper necklace or do I want a Luck Ring? And I went for the Reaper necklace. <laughs> and, uh, well, my, regrets. uh, well, regrets now. Hindsight 20, I lost the hard ground anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, it's you hate to see it. That's too funny. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. Anything else you guys want to bring up? I think those are actually, I had one other question, of course. Mm -hmm. Um, and I kind of know where I stand with this, but I think it's way more interesting to hear what you think about it. Um, mm -hmm. people who are making money by, to me, this is bug abuse, but maybe it's not by just repeating the triple jad wave over and over and over again in normal mode. Ooh, a spicy one. That's um, a big one. <clears throat> I don't think I can say it's bug abuse. I'd say that's clever use of mechanics. Um, that okay. being said, I think it's something we should resolve. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not comfortable saying that's bug abuse um, because you're... It's, it's, it's like farming anything else, right? <laughs> Harakon one was a bug, and that was being abused because you're absolutely telling out at the last possible second before it registers. Jad's killing two Jads and telling out. I mean, that's just how it works. Um, okay, that yeah. is something. That's something we devs should fix, and I don't think players should be worried about. Totally that, fair. That's what I would say to that. No, that's fair. Yeah, that was one like I wasn't gonna personally do it because I was like, it's mm. kind of in a gray area. But yeah, that's that's fair yeah. enough. It's not game breaking, it's not giving you infinite zuck loot. So yeah. Mm -hmm. No, fair enough. Um yeah, I also people do that with Hydrix Dragons in ED2. I think there are ways to like reset that. So, you know. There it's, are uh, it's other exact examples. Same thing. Yeah, it's precedent. just clever use of mechanics in my opinion. Cool. I just wanted to uh Quickly in chat, a lot of people are sharing a lot of, you know, appreciation for all the awesome stuff you do um, with Jagex, with PBMing. I was wondering if, um, chat, we could get some hearts for Mod Sponge for uh, all the incredible things that uh, you do in the community. But also, thank you so much for for coming on and being up for this kind of impromptu interview situation because I, uh, yeah, I really, I had a blast. I learned an absolute ton and I think uh, a lot of people in my chat probably did too and uh, in my community as well. It's it's super, super appreciated and, and, and cool to see. No, no, no. The pleasure, the pleasure is all mine. Honestly, it's uh, anytime. It's it's an absolute delight working with you. Um, can we get some tier ninety five bow wens in chat? <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely fantastic timing. But uh, yeah, thank you, <laughs> thank you so so much for coming on. And uh, if you, uh, unless you have any any questions for me or anything for me, I think uh, you can you could be freed and uh, and get on with whatever Freedom. you've got plans tonight. Yeah, I was holding you at gunpoint. Um, it's it's under the table, but. Uh, yeah, thank you so much once again for uh, for coming know, on. I'm gonna go grab a drink and then I'm gonna jump in chat and silently judge you. So oh, enjoy perfect! That. Sounds like a plan. Thank <laughs> you so much, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. Cool. Catch you all soon.